Welcome to The Vault, Jason here, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about something that every hat collector loves to hate, and that is the white sweatband. Now, personally, I love the white sweatband because that's what was used by Major League Baseball from the 80s all the way through the mid-2000s when they uh, switched to the performance poly and the, the black sweatband, black under. Um, so I grew up with the white sweatband. Absolutely love it. And let's admit, man, nothing looks better with a gray under than a white sweatband. But a lot of collectors don't like the white sweatband because um, it tends to show dirt, stains, sweat a lot faster. Um, all, vis all sweatbands will show dirt and sweat um, eventually, but uh, the white one will definitely show it a lot faster. Um, so I want to talk today a little bit about how to prevent that and then also what to do when you do get some stains on your white sweatband. Um, first off, the easiest way to prevent getting stains, sweat stains and stuff on your white sweatband is to not wear it when you're sweating. I know it's easier said than done, but um, personally, if I'm starting to sweat, I'll take my hat off. Um, I, I know you can't always do that, but um, like when I'm driving around in the car or something and the car's all hot from the sun, I'll just pop my, uh, pop my hat off, put it on the front uh, seat and, and, and drive around with that. Uh, the other thing I like to do, uh, is I have a set of hats specifically for, um, days or events when I know I'm going to sweat. Like when I'm going to the golf course, I have this old Phillies hat. I love to wear, um, pretty stylish, pretty classic. But uh, yeah, it gets dirty, it gets sweaty. I don't care, I'm at the golf course. Um, baseball games, it gets really hot, especially here in the middle of summer. My son plays in tournaments all day long. So I have this hat. Um, it's one of his old baseball hats. I wear it to basically every practice, every game. I mean, this thing's disgusting. Um, sweat stains, dirt, everything. Um, but you know, it keeps my other hats from getting dirty when I'm at these specific events. Um, another thing you can do is get a product like uh, Stankies or, or a similar product like that. It's basically a liner that you put on the inside of the visor um, to protect it from getting dirty, getting sweaty. Um, I personally don't use those too often. Um, they can get quite expensive if you have a lot of hats. Um, they take up space, so if your hat fits tight already, putting in a stankies in there is, is going to make it fit even more tight or maybe possibly not make it fit at all. Uh, and, and the other thing is it doesn't cover the entire sweatband. It only usually covers a portion. As you can see, I like to wear my hats backwards, I wear them forwards, and I don't want to switch that stankies around all the time. Um, but, so those are those are two ways uh, you can use to, to prevent um, your hat from getting dirty, your sweatband from getting dirty. Another thing that I would not recommend that I've heard people do is to pay uh, to spray water repellent or stain repellent on the sweatband. Please don't do that. Um, those are chemicals in there. That's the part of the hat that's touching your skin. Could cause a breakout, could cause an allergic reaction. Um, just just not very good. Um, so, so try not to do that. Um, but that being said, if your hat does get a stain on it, the best thing to do is to get rid of that stain as soon as possible before it builds and, and gets to the point where your white sweatband is now brown. Um, once that happens, uh, there's not gonna be a whole lot you can do um, besides putting it into a pile of sweaters or uh, getting rid of it. Um, so I have a hat here, this old Tul Tulsa Oilers hat. Love this logo. Uh, I have worn it outside quite a bit, so it is starting to develop a little bit of stain. I know it's pretty hard to see right now, but I want to take care of it now before it becomes brown, yellow, all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I take care of these things. Um, you just need a couple of simple household items. Um, you should Everybody should have these things around. Um, first off, you want a damp white cloth not wet, just damp. Um, you want some detergent. Um, you can use dish detergent. 
Um, I use clothing detergent because it's specifically made for fabrics. Um, and you also want a soft bristle brush. Um, you use a hat brush, um, maybe a, a, a stiff paintbrush. Um, if you have an old toothbrush, soft bristles on it, that'll work too. But basically, it's pretty simple. I'm going to put a little bit of detergent into a bowl. Fill it up with warm tap water, hot water, it doesn't really matter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my soft bristle brush, dip it in that soapy water, and I'm going to get as much of the water out as possible, just a little bit of suds here. And I'm just going to brush it right on that stain. As you can see, it's going to lift some of the dirt off, keep going until you're happy with the stain not being there anymore. Yeah, there we go. That's getting it out pretty good. Um, try not to get too much water. What you don't want to happen is the water soaked through the sweatband onto the hat, um, especially with that detergent. It may cause the colors to run, um, may ruin, ruin the hat. And try not to get the hat too wet, because especially with this buckram here, you get that buckram too wet, it's going to lose its structure. Um, and you don't want that. So I got it to the point where I can't really see the stain anymore. Not that you really could before, but I noticed it. Um, I'm gonna hit it one more time with this brush. And then take your damp cloth. You're just gonna wipe that out. Right on the right on the visor. Let me see. Show you a little better. There we go. Right on that visor. And yeah. I know it's I know it's it was hard to see before, but the, the stain is not there anymore. Um, you shouldn't have to do this every time you wear your hat. Just when you start to notice stains pop up, grab a little detergent, a little hot water, and a brush, um, and hit that stain. Wipe it out. Let your hat air dry overnight. Um, but yeah, so don't be afraid of the white sweatband anymore. It's a nice classic look. It's actually pretty easy to take care of as long as you take care of your hat. And... Uh, as always, make sure you like, rate, review, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you sticking with me today.